What's up, Internet? Reviewing today Deepcool's newest AIO, the LS720, which in their product line is supposed to be one tier higher than the Gamax and Castle series. We've reviewed a lot of Deepcool coolers from their air coolers and their AIOs and have found them to be routinely excellent. We'll get to the heat defying numbers in a little bit, but before that, just some interesting features of the LS720. Number one, it has a five year warranty. Customers always ask about warranty. To be honest, we've sold a lot of deep cool coolers, both their air coolers and AIOs. I can't remember of anyone ever coming back to us with a warranty concern. But if there's ever a problem, the five-year warranty has your back. Number two, it's compatible with basically everything. Compatible with the latest Intel 12th Gen. Compatible also with Intel Socket 1200. 1155, 1151, 1150. On the AMD side, it's compatible with the current Ryzen, so AM4, as well as the upcoming 7000 series, so AM5. Mission ready now and future proof for later. Number three, the three included FC120 ARGB fans connect together via the chassis of the fan rather than the cables connecting to each other. It seems like a small thing, but Connecting via the chassis makes everything more intuitive and easier to follow. Wiring of an AIO actually can get quite complicated. So this is the basic setup for the LS720. Connect all of the radiator fans together, plug the AIO into the remaining socket on one of the fans, and the remaining wire of the fans plugs into a splitter, which you connect to your SATA, ARGB control, and fan power. That leaves one last cable on the AIO to connect for power. Number four, the CPU block is literally a block. Well, a square, it does look premium, and it is customizable to a certain extent. There's an additional plate on top of the block which is removable and which you can customize. So you can come up with your own design and then slap it on the top of the CPU block. To test the LS720, we ran it against a furnace of a CPU, the hottest of the hot, Intel's i9-12900KF. And then we pitted the LS720 against two other popular AIOs, the Kraken Z73 and the MSI Meg Core Liquid S360. First contender, the Kraken Z73, we chose because it is a popular seller in the shop. Second contender is the MSI Meg Core Liquid S360, which cooled so well that it got the nod of Tom hardware's editor's choice. Although when we tried it, we weren't really that impressed. So we ran all AIOs using Cinebench R23 for 30 minutes. That's 100% load for the CPU and recorded the average and max temps reached. First up, the popular seller Kraken Z73 had an average temperature of 89.5 degrees and a max temp of 95 degrees. Second contender, the well-reviewed Meg S360 was in the same ballpark as the Z73 but consistently ran a bit higher with the average temp of 92.25 degrees as well as a max temp of 96 degrees. And finally, coming to the LS720, it cooled significantly better than both AIOs. It never even reached the 90 degree mark. The average temp of the LS720 was a mere 81 degrees with a max temp reached of only 85 degrees. That's almost a 10 degree difference in average temperatures from the LS720 to those reached by the Z73 and the Meg S360. In short, it wasn't really a contest. The LS720 ran consistently cooler compared to the competing AIOs. Deepcool mentioned that the LS720 was optimized for newer systems, and to be honest, I initially thought that was marketing hype. But after we paired the AIO with Intel's i9-12900KF and saw the results for ourselves, I'm a believer now. Excellent cooler and its MSRP is supposedly around 140 to 160 US. That's a great price for something that performs this well and has all of these features. I'll end with a gripe and a note. First, the note is that you should install the LS720 with the tubes down. So the CPU block and the tubes facing down. In Deepcool's internal testing, they found significantly better temps with the tubes in that position. And that's also how we tested this AIO. And I'll end with a minor complaint. It's not really even about the AIO, but the fans that come with the AIO. It's cool that they daisy chain that way, but to be honest, they look kind of boring. The lighting is nice, but the fan chassis seems very vanilla. And it's not like Deepcool doesn't have any cool looking fans. They do. The CF120 Plus, 
are excellent ARGB fans from Deepcool. They have these cutouts in the fan frame, so there's more light bleed. And so those are excellent looking fans. I wish that the LS720 shipped with something like that, a bit more on the aesthetic cutting edge. In conclusion, giving this product 5 out of 5 candies. Excellent AIO at an excellent price. It's easy to think in the cooling space that all coolers will basically function the same with only a difference of around a few degrees. But Deepcool has constantly proven that there is innovation possible in the cooling space with products that constantly challenge the market leaders such as Noctua, Be Quiet. So it's a really interesting time right now. The basic design of coolers haven't changed but Deepcool is getting better and better at engineering the insides of those coolers to provide significantly better cooling. The scary part is that Deepcool isn't even done yet. Based on the information shared with us, the LS720 is one tier higher than the Castle and Gamak series, but there are two plant tiers even higher than the LS720. So really curious to see where Deepcool will go to make it even more premium and to get even cooler temps from our ever increasingly hot, hot, hot CPUs. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin to na to. Hindi, joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.